It can be said that every journey has a final destination. And I always get a burst of satisfaction when I make it to the end of the road just before it's time to turn back around. And this time, it's time to head back to the great state of Texas. But this journey's not over. I still got one more stop to make. And we're gonna head today off of Route 66 to its original destination. Or you could say its final destination, the Santa Monica Pier. But before we go there, we had to make one little stop off to set up a base camp just east of Barstow in the Mojave Desert in this wonderful Airstream trailer. Yeah, so we made it here to California and really just had a wonderful time driving old Route 66. So I hope you enjoyed it. Now we got the rest of today to just kind of chill. Check out this rig in the middle of the desert. I mean, first off, look at that. Like legit desert. We're out here just east of Barstow. I found this desert oasis inside of an Airstream trailer on Airbnb. And just from the pictures alone, it completely stole my heart and I knew I had to jump at it. It was gonna be the perfect base camp for my time in California. This little Airstream trailer in the middle of the Mojave Desert off of Route 66 gave me the perfect place to reflect on my journey over the last two weeks as I covered nearly 2,500 miles traversing my way along Route 66. This was exactly the kind of refresh I needed. I mean, the sunsets here alone, well, they were unlike anything that I've ever seen in person. I mean, these sunsets were absolutely gorgeous. It's almost as if these desert sunsets, which are out here in the scorching August heat of the Mojave Desert, was an oil painting by one of my heroes, the great Bob Ross. When I think of Barstow, I picture the Hunter S. Thompson cult classic, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. There's a scene where they're traveling through this quaint desert town while on some strange acid trip journey on their way in a convertible heading to LA. Barstow is an interesting place and it has a lot of history as one of the major hubs along the California stretch of the historic Route 66. There are still remnants of nostalgic Americana that have survived to this very day. And what it does is it brings you back to a time where life was, well, it was simple. And stumbling past this original Zoltar, who grants your wishes I wonder how many people coming from Las Vegas were wishing that they had won a bunch of money. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you for joining me on this journey through old Route 66. Today's a pretty exciting day because ultimately the end goal is to see my son, which you're not going to see. We're also going to see where Route 66 started. at Santa Monica Pier. Well, we're going to get down to Santa Monica Pier today and we're going to check that out and we're going to see where it all began. And then we're gonna wrap up this video series for Old Route 66. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button right up there. If you like the Route 66 series, subscribe. So I'd love to do more of this stuff. I mean, look at, we got BA here. He actually, all his stuff that he's been carrying is back at base camp. So that's really, he, he's like, mm, man, he's light. He doesn't even have the hitch on the back. He's back to being a normal car. Definitely don't wanna have all that stuff on my car and park it somewhere in Los Angeles. Nah, not a good idea. So, left that stuff at base camp. We're gonna head out, we're gonna go do this.
Well, and since we're in no hurry, well, B.A. likes his desert playtime. You know, he's kind of like a puppy. You just got to get him out once a day, let him play for about 30 minutes, and he's good to go. So I'm a big believer that anytime you take a road trip, you have to make it a point to stop at several attractions along the way. Like this funky little gift shop, Charlie Brown Farms. Charlie Brown Farms is located in the quirky little desert town of Little Rock, California. And it is exactly the type of stop off where you can get out of the car, stretch your legs for a bit, grab a bite to eat, fuel up, and you know, just Get a serious dose of memory lane while you're spending about 30 minutes to 40 minutes just browsing throughout this awesome little shop. These are the types of places where you can find those badass little treasures that you will carry as a keepsake really from this amazing journey or ones that you take that are just like this. But more importantly, places like this make you feel like a kid again. And waking up on a Saturday morning and watching Super Friends. As you come out of the desert and make your way into LA and Hollywood, you're gonna stumble past some other pieces of nostalgia, like the Capitol Records building, where they once hung a flag for my favorite band of all time, the Beastie Boys, at the very top. That was pretty cool. Well, this is it, y'all. Santa Monica Pier. And for me, it's the end of the line. This is where Route 66 ends for me and where I get to start making that drive back to Texas. So we'll just say it's official. BA has now officially driven from ocean to ocean. So we're here in Santa Monica, just chilling at the beach. Looking at the pier just down the road, the birthplace of Route 66. Before diving into the madness that is Santa Monica Pier, well, I figured why not get a burger at the last place you could get one on Route 66 at the Pier Burger. If we're gonna close this trip out, we're gonna do it the right way. We're gonna get a burger from Pier Burger, the last burger we can get off of Route 66. And instead of doing the root beer float, the orange creamsicle. Taking the time to stop and enjoy one last hot dog and one last hamburger on Route 66, well, it just seemed kind of fitting as the best way to cap off 15 wonderful days on the road. I mean, seriously, y'all, what's more Americana than that? Bacon and cheese dog, a little mustard, keep it simple. That's a good hot dog, y'all. They used a quarter pound Nathan's all beef frank. Good bacon, cheesy, toasted bun. Yeah, it's a quality hot dog. Now, 
The breakfast burger. You got some egg, you got your burger, bacon. Here goes the breakfast bacon burger. So good. Adding that egg and bacon to a burger, such a good way to go. When you first step onto the pier, it just feels really familiar. And that's because it's one of the most highly filmed locations, not only in Los Angeles, but in the world. I mean, this place has been featured in thousands of movies, music videos, commercials, films, you know, just about any kind of Hollywood production. Get a good spot before the good spots are gone. And as I come around, if you have a card, please grab a marker and write your name across the blank side and the white side. Nice and big, easy to read. Kids, when you're done with your name, give me your social security number. Kidding. First name is all I need. Big and easy to read. Across the blank side, it's the white side. And if you did not get a card, please cheat off this front row. We started really in New Mexico and we hit all the major stops along the way. <laughs> Pretty cool, man. Like, that's what it's all about. And then you do it so you get here to the Pacific Ocean in Santa Monica Pier. Yeah. Look at that. BA, you're a soldier. You've driven coast to coast and you've taken on half of Route 66. Yeah. Good times, y'all. Good times. Hit that subscribe button right there. They like you, huh? They like the food. <laughs> As you work your way towards the end of the pier, it's like walking into a live TikTok feed. Today I witnessed everything from a magic show fit for America's Got Talent to a dance crew busting out some unreal moves. And let's not forget the crazy bird man that we just saw. I mean, those birds just sat on him and flocked to him like, like he was the Messiah. One of the coolest things that I saw on the pier was this dance crew. And what they did was just reinforce a valuable lesson that I've tried to instill in people that have worked for me for several years. Don't be afraid of failure. Without failure, you can't grow and succeed. I mean, look at this guy. He just pops right back up and he's ready to do it again. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna close out this video. And I just want to say to Route 66, thank you. I understand why it's on people's bucket list. So peace out, y'all. Till next time, love you. We'll talk soon. See y'all on down the road. Route 66, I owe you so much. This spiritual journey you took me on, well, it's gonna stay with me throughout my entire lifetime. And for the past few weeks, 
the sights that I saw changed my life forever. I enjoyed reliving a time period where life wasn't controlled by social media or your cell phone. You quite simply reminded me of who I am. And to all of you that have followed me on this spiritual quest, well, I just want to say thank you and much love. Until next time, y'all.